Hello, I'm Mother Carolyn Darnell. I've been with St. Mark's since 1990. I came with my six children. We needed a home church for every Sunday of the month, and this was the church. I had a vision that God told me to come here, and once I got here, I found the most loving, patient, embracing people. Uh, Reverend Clay, the Clay family, the Battle family, uh, blessed memories. We had so many wonderful memories here. I was so glad to be able to go to church in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. We had Bible study. We, um, we went on d different trips, picnics, and I just thank God for St. Mark and how it influenced my family. And it gave us all an opportunity to worship together and to serve God and to get to know him as a family. Well, I was born and reared here in this community and in St. Mark's Church with my other siblings. I accepted Christ at the age of 12 and during my time we had no baptismal pool so I was baptized in the Moores Mill Creek on Moores Mill Road and that was in 1961. I've been here for 62 plus years and loved every minute of it. St. Mark has always been a leader in this community and, and we always knew that if we needed something, St. Mark would be here for the community. The people have always reached out to each other. We've always looked at different things in the community as being um, one that this church would always help the people. It was here for the people and for the community, not just for the, po the people who came to church on Sunday morning, but for the community as well. When we first uh, attended, it was back in 2008. Um, we had recently moved here to Huntsville and recently married a uh, young couple and I uh, had recently had a son, uh, my first son, Henry, uh, Henry Jr. And we were, had visited a number of churches uh, close to our, in, in our area, uh, close to our home. And uh, this was probably the third church that we visited and uh, fell in love with it right away. I mean, the biggest thing I think was the authentic relationships that we um, ran into here. They had a, a, I guess, a breakout section where you could actually walk around and hug uh, and, and greet their fellowship mm -hmm. with um, the other congregation. And uh, that was something that was, at the time, uh, unique uh, to myself, uh, coming from a, a Baptist church at home. Uh, we really didn't have a, a fellowship hour, so that was you know, really uh, interesting and, and something that was uh, attracted me uh, myself personally to the church and son was able to go to children's church at the time and he learned a lot and I think after our second visit um, he came back and told me personally dad I want to go back to church and you know it, it, it brought a, a number of emotions over over me but uh, at the time like I say as part of my discernment um, I prayed about it uh, me and my wife talked about it and we eventually came back and joined St. Mark's Church, and I think it's one of the one of the better decisions that we made since we've been here in Huntsville. Well, one of the better decisions that you made was me, but the second one, one was of. Joy. <laughs> <laughs> that was say what up. <laughs> but just um, like uh, Henry was saying, just as far as you know, our son wanting to come back to church, that was something that just touched me, you know, in a way that you know no other church has touched because there was an actual program here designed for children to grow. Uh, my name is John Clay. I became pastor of St. Mark uh, in 1978. Uh, I followed the tenure of uh, Elder W.A. Donaldson, who had pastored here for 32 years. When I arrived at St. Mark, uh, some of the deacons notably here was Charles Mannings, who was the superintendent of one of the local middle schools, uh, Lottie Fuquay, John Jordan, Ben Tate, Richard McCrary, I think those comprised of those. They, they were strong men uh, in the church who, who, uh, who were dedicated and committed to the church. 
It's interesting, one of the things that I remember about one of our deacons is John Jordan. Uh, he would pray each Sunday for his son that was unsaved. He did this for probably 10, 15 years. And then one Sunday afternoon, that son called up and accepted Christ. So it was a notable event in the life of the church. When I, when I came to St. Mark, the only facility that the church had was the sanctuary. Uh, and it did not have any classrooms in the back uh, in the old, older sanctuary. So one of our first efforts was to renovate the sanctuary to uh, build classrooms in the back of that old fellowship hall. We, uh, in, in a couple of years later, we built the educational wing, which is where the De Child Development Center is, as well as the Fellowship Hall. And of course, in future years, we would continue to build the sanctuary that can currently house the worship services now. St. Mark was the first in a number of areas. We were one of the first churches to have services at 10 o'clock. We were one of the first to have uh, a youth revivals. Uh, we, we were one of the first to, first of all, change our name. So. Uh, it, it was, we were a leader in the community and still continue to be. Uh, I'm thankful to have served uh, 35 years uh, when I retired in 2013.